Do you like to cook? Would you say you're both creative and good at following instructions? Do you have an eye for detail? If all that describes you, maybe you need to know more about the career of a baker. Bakers prepare and bake breads, cakes, cookies, pastries, pies, and other such delicious goodies. They work in bakeries as well as places like restaurants, hotels, and hospitals. We met with a baker in Alberta who shared all the ingredients of this rising career. Hi, my name is Siba, I'm a baker. I was inspired to become a baker because I love making something with food that other people will come in and get excited about. A baker has different kinds of tasks, from weighing to mixing to baking, uh, working with machines like a mixer, like a bun rounder, like a sheeter or a bread molder. As a baker, you do need to work with caution. When you work with mixers, they can work at fast speeds, so you be careful that you don't come too close. We do spend a lot of time with the oven. We're always putting in doughs, we're taking out finished products, so you just want to be careful that you work safe. So when I come in the morning to the bakery, I always see if there are special orders for customers, and then I calculate my recipes. Then I know what ingredients I need for what doughs. And then I start mixing doughs, I start mixing batters. Certain products need to be proved, other products can go straight into the oven. Working in a bakery can be a very busy working environment. There are orders to produce, there are sometimes customers waiting. There is multiple timers going off at the same time because the dough needs to rest for a certain time, the batter needs to mix for a certain time, the buns or the cakes need to bake for a certain time. So there's timers involved throughout their whole shift. When products are baked, we spend a lot of time on finishing cakes and cookies. You learn how to decorate products, you pipe, you work with glazes, you work with chocolate. So you need to be creative to make a product that looks attractive for the customer to purchase. Lists are also very important as a baker because it will help you to organize everything. So we use lists for ordering ingredients. Things that we might order are different kinds of flours or different kinds of icing sugars. The other responsibility I have is that I keep the workplace clean. We do dishes regularly. We wash our bowls, our utensils and other tools that we work with. And we wash our hands continuously. As a baker, it's important to be fit. Um, you are on your feet for all of your shift. There's a lot of lifting going on. Um, when we make our dough, we lift a bag of flour, which is 20 kilos, so we carry that to the mixer. There are trays filled with cake batter or with cake pans or with breads coming out of the oven, dough coming out of the mixer. So there is heavy lifting going on as a baker. The working hours of a baker can vary. Our bakers start at 2 a.m. and they're done at 10 a.m. On the weekends it's busier, so we start at midnight and we work eight hours per day and five days in a week. To become a baker, you can go to a post-secondary school and get a diploma or a certificate. There are a lot of workplaces that will accept you without any diploma where you can work and learn from the head baker or the owner of the business there. When you become a baker, there are different ways that you can grow. Some bakers start their own business and they can specialize in certain areas. For example, you can specialize in cakes or just breads or just buns. What I love about my job is when I see a customer come and pick up the product that they've ordered and I know that they're taking it home, that is the best satisfaction I can have because that I know what I did here will actually serve someone else out in the community. Here's the recipe for a successful baker. Combine creativity with a strong sense of detail. Sprinkle with a responsible attitude about food hygiene and voila, you're the right mix for this career. Find out more about bakers. It's the yeast you can do by visiting the occupational profile on the Alice website. There you'll learn about the salary ranges and educational requirements and can check out related occupations, including chef and food science technologist. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.